Yeah, so, you know, as I said, what we see is, is a lot of times is the beginning effects of COVID. And to go up there and see people that they can relate to, uh, people that, whether they be their same age, or maybe it, it may have been a patient that some of them had ran. Uh, we had ran a call to their house and, and then to see them laying up there, um, you know, in ICU on ventilators. Uh, I think the reality of the effects of the virus has, you know, affected them and motivated them uh, where they were on the fence about the vaccine that, you know, I've had three or four that come back and it's like, okay, I'm ready to take it, you know, um, because, you know, one thing that we are seeing with the vaccine that those are va that are vaccinated, uh, even if they are a breakthrough case, uh, it's helping to manage the symptoms uh, if they do become infected. I was surprised by one of the guys because he's our kind of our younger guy, strongest, probably the strongest guy we got physically. And the first day he was up there, he was helping in the emergency room. And, and I think he, like you said, he saw people his age coming in sick. And he told his supervisor, he said, uh, I wouldn't plan on getting a shot, but can you help me get the shot? And, and we got him to the fire department the next day and, and got the shot. And he's got both shots now. We had another employee, I asked him, I said, why did you decide? And he said, it was just the sheer number in seeing how overwhelmed the hospital staff was and the uh, ICU and the emergency rooms was, was overwhelmed. He said, it just made sense for me to get, get the vaccination. Uh, he too was a younger type, younger employee, age-wise. And, uh, but uh, I think when they got to see that, it really started working on them the need to, to be vaccinated.